are you? I'm doing very well, thanks. Thanks for having me. No, thanks for coming. So those two songs were very infectious, so thank you for performing them. You're welcome. I, I enjoy performing them, yeah. so it's great. I can tell. You can tell yeah. when you watch it. Um, the funny thing is one's called Drive and one's called Crash. So yep. I don't know if you're going to do them in a row. We've in talked my, about this. Mixed messages, yeah. We we as a as a band have have discussed my affinity towards driving references and um, also that we can create like a journey through the EP that is like the like car it. drives and gets in a crash or you crash and you drive on. It, you could maybe... depend. You can mix them, which is hilarious because I'm also a really not great driver. Uh, like maybe you could do like a song that's like don't text. Don't text exactly. You know? Well, don't text and drive. That could be like people. that could be the middle point. <laughs> and then Stop texting and then like, you crash. Then it becomes a concept album that's very strange. Oh god, that's 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 dark. I mean, the way I sort of think about it is like you could crash, yeah. but you will continue to drive. That's sort okay. of like okay. Everything I don't know. Everything with me gets very like life can be hard, but but work through your obstacles. Yeah, drive yeah. is very uplifting. So like, which is nice, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean like it's so. I always say this on ASA. It's so much easier to to like write about depressing stuff, um, as opposed to like coming up with like an uplifting song. Yeah, for me, um, I, I sort of began this process thinking I I want to write something that is uplifting. You know, I walked into my co-writing session, I co-wrote the song with Peter Zizzo, um, who's amazing, and I, I walked in... His track in, record, by the way, is pretty His, his track crazy. record is so amazing and intimidating that I yeah. kind of was like, ha ha, I'm Shayna. Yeah. Um, and I walked in and I was like... Um, I, he did I, Celine Dion, right? He did mm-hmm. Celine, he did Vanessa Carlton, he... Yeah. he, he his list. Did you punch your chest at any at any point because of the Celine Dion um, thing? No, but I was like, Peter, I love Celine. Yeah. Celine is my... is is my favorite performer maybe ever. I once flew to Orlando to go with my family to a Celine Dion concert, and I was crying. Um, Because you were there? No, I'm just Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, (laughs) no, but I really... I'm just being a terrible I just, when I was a kid, for whatever reason, the first voice I heard that I was like, (gasps) was Celine, and so she just... It was just bizarre, and yeah, so I did ask some Celine questions, but nothing... I. Basically, she's a really nice person, is what I got from that. Um, yeah, no, so I walked in and I was like, Ugh! and then I was like, what I would like to do is, is you know, I had this idea of, of a, I had read a quote from Martin Luther King about moving forward, and I was like, can we write a song around this? And Peter was like, yes. And I was like, cool. Um, but my goal was to write uplifting material. Um, I, I don't want to be someone who, you know, tells lies about, you know, life is great all the time, because that is not the case. Um, but at the same time, I do, the thing I take the most seriously, I think, is is the type of material that I want to put out in the world and what I want to say with it, um, because I do think it's easy to talk about the sad stuff. Mm-hmm. It's harder to talk about the good stuff, and it's, I think music is sort of a thing that people go to when they're feeling down to feel better. Um, so to try to contribute to that is is kind of a cool thing. Then there's some people who have really depressing lyrics to a very peppy pop song, and it's very manipulative. <laughs> you know, like, is this a sad song or a happy song? Right. I don't know. Like, Pumped Up Kicks is, it's more of a rock song. That came yeah, out it's like kind years of... years ago, but holy crap. You better run. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that is interesting. I do sort of, I like both. I like the dichotomy of that, but mm-hmm. I also really love a song that feels like what it's about. Right. When you hear it, I think that's what makes a genius, mm-hmm. um, which is so cool. Like, the, just the intro chords, you know what the song is going to be about because of sort of the way they've done it. Um, I think that's super masterful whenever I hear someone that does that. So talk to me about the EP because it's kind of around the corner that it's The EP out. is around the corner. It is, it is my debut EP. Um, I've released singles and I, and I released an EP for free last year, but I've never released an EP officially. Um, it is five songs. It is called Hey Shayna Lee, which is conveniently also my Twitter handle. <laughs> and um, and it, it is, it's, it's got some driving references. It's, it's, it's sort of, to me it's a year in songs about, you know, a sort of tough year and, and how to get out of it. I, I am a little obsessed with journeys and life journeys. Um, 
and, and it's really about, you know, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps and moving forward as like a general piece, I would say. What's kind of cool is that I wrote the songs with different people in different cities. I, there was a song I wrote with um, this, this writer, Ali Peden, in London. I wrote with Paula Winger in Nashville. And then I wrote three songs with Peter Zizzo in New York. Um, and they were all at sort of different times. And yet there is sort of a cohesive theme about it, which was completely unintentional. Um, so clearly this is just where I was at. Um, but I'm super excited. I'm, I'm really excited. I really am. Nervous, but excited. How long have the songs kind of lived with you? Are they like relatively new songs for you? Or have you kind of, did you like get started with them? They're all very different. The, uh, the New York songs were the most recent. Um, I wrote this song in London last fall, and then the Nashville songs was the Nashville song was actually um, a year previous to that. So that one's been in, in the works sort of for a year and a half or two years, maybe. My math is bad, a year and a half ish. Um, so it's it's different, um, but they're all within the sort of the, like the last chunk of two years, I would say. Um, so it is it is the story of the past two years in my difficult life. <laughs> nice. Are you thinking in the back of your head full length, or you're not even? I've actually it? I have done full length before. Yeah. I did a covers album, okay. and at previous to that, I did a full length album that will never see the light of day. I don't think. Um, but my covers album, one day, I you know, I give it to my friends and family. I love it. Um, I am thinking, I am thinking full length one day. I think the the part of why. I think the culture has become so EP driven is because there is sort of this demand to release, 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 release. So if you take the time to do a full EP or a full album, you've sort of missed the opportunity to sort of jump on it. And I think when you're starting out, it's important to have momentum. Um, I would love to do a full length album, another one. I, en I enjoy really, I mean, I love the performing phase the most, but I do enjoy the writing and creating process. Um, so I would love to do it. I don't have immediate plans to do it. What I kind of want to do is write some more songs mm -hmm. and then maybe record those songs and then decide what I'm going to do next. I'm, I'm living very uh, moment to moment these days. It is a conscious effort. I'm not very good at that. Um, so I don't know what's next in it's that exciting, way. Yeah. yeah, I just, I feel like my plans always get changed anyway. So I'm not going to stress over making them. Um, obviously you have goals, but... You know, less stress, more fun. That's my motto of the, the year, I guess. Good. I hope it's mine, too. Oh, my God. You can have it. Yeah. yeah you can have it. You can all have it. Totally. Yeah. Take it. Less stress, more fun. I'm taking it right now. Peace. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.